Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis, we are up 3.4% on the one-hour chart. We were oversold on the RSI on Friday. However, between Sunday night and Monday morning, we start to approach to piles of the MACD. As for the four-hour chart, we have a convergence in play and for the daily chart if we expand out we start to see a divergence on the daily MACD and we also see a divergence on the 9 day moving average and 18 day moving average so if we do manage to head down lower the next support level that we saw was made back in Fe February 28th of, on Friday around a price of $1.64 and if we do manage to make a reversal and head up higher we have a resistance level coinciding with the 9 day moving average and 18 day moving average and that is around a price of $1.84 and that also coincides with these past support level and since we're below support level that now act as our resistance so if we were to head up higher, that price movement is roughly around 5.5% to the upside. And if we were to head down lower, that is around 5.3% to the downside. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model. As the days progress, we have a slight chance to the upside, a 22% for natural gas to head up higher between 0 to 8% on the seventh day. And on the other side, we have a 22% for natural gas to head down lower between 0 and 8% down. And on the extreme case, we have a 44% chance for natural gas to head down lower between negative 8% and negative 16%. And on the very extreme case, we have 11% chance for natural gas heading down between negative 16% and negative 25%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here we have the current trend and below is a trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to October 17, 2008 to January 14, 2009. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here are the current trend. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We revert back to the mean at the middle Bollinger Band. And let's just make this blue. Next, we proceeded to average down lower in the middle, Bo middle Bollinger Band. And then we made a reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band. And let's just make this green. And then finally, we head down lower once more at the bottom Bollinger Band at the very end. So we have those points there. We start to see a similar pattern here as well. We we're touching the bottom Bollinger Band. We reverted back to the mean at the middle Bollinger Band. And next, we proceeded to average lower between the bottom Bollinger Band and middle Bollinger Band. And we revert or head up higher. We made a slight reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band. And finally, we continue on down at the bottom Bollinger Band right at the very end. So what we have is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's a reason to believe if the trends and patterns are the same, the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was October 17, 2008 to January 14, 2009. Back then, natural gas continued to fall around 11.1%. So if we look back at the day-by-day -day 
probability model that coincides with this standard deviation. Natural gas continues to fall lower in the next coming days. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.